guys, in this video I'll be doing a review or haul video from or a haul and review video from Shop Miss 8. And I have a link to where you can purchase the products and information box. Everything is a dollar, so there's no need for me to list prices or anything like that. Everything is a dollar on his website, which is awesome. So I'm just going to get right into it. First, going to show you the jewelry that I got. First, I got this necklace, which is, um, this is my zodiac sign. I'm going to zoom in and just show you all the jewelry so you can see it up close and personal. I'm trying to show it so the glare isn't, ah, uh, stop. See, it has a little goat on it. Really cute. And first and foremost, I did seal all of my jewelry with some clear spray paint so that it will not tarnish or fade. So this is it's pretty much a regular chain necklace. Or not a chain necklace. I can't really think of what you call these. But it's one of those where you put it in a little thing. I don't know if you can see that. But that's the type of closure it is. But I really like this necklace. It's very personal to me. I love Zodiac stuff in general. Um, anything about Zodiac stuff, I love. Horoscopes, all of that, I'm all into it. I'm next going to show you another necklace. This is the only other necklace I got. This is a sailor necklace. Pendant. I don't have too many pendant necklaces, so I definitely jumped at the chance to get these. I got two bracelets. I finally got sucked into the mustache trend, like, months late or a year later. But... This is like some beaded bangle. It has a little cute black mustache on it. This is the other bracelet I got. Kind of like a tribal print or a tribal design with the rhinestones. And it is uh it stretches. These kind of freak me out because I always think they're gonna break. So but that's how that looks on the wrist. I'm gonna show you the other mustache stuff I got. I did get three pairs of earrings that are mustache as well are mustaches these are earrings I got three pair of these I got black I got silver and I got gold which I'm going to show you in just a moment I got the gold ones I'm so sad a pearl fell out of these I don't know if that was pre-shipping or pre-shipment or I did it I have no clue I'm so sad I'll fix it though buy some little pearls from the craft store and these are the silver ones I got these, which are some dangle type of, uh, kind of earring, looking like that. I don't really wear too many of these earrings, like the ones that hang. I used to when I was in high school, but I completely stopped doing it for some reason. I got some hoop earrings. I got two pair. I got these gold ones with the double hoop. And I also got silver ones. I have like rhinestone detailing on them. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. And it's only on one side. It's not around the entire earring, which I like. I also got a few more pairs of earrings. This is actually an ear cuff. This is my first time trying this. I'm really excited to wear it. It has like a cute little angel a wing and bow accent on it. And then, of course, this part cuffs around the ear. I'll probably wear it on my left ear. I have an industrial piercing, so I really don't want to put too much on that ear. I might. It might be extra cute to wear it on that ear. I'm just going to try it out. But you guys will see it in, a, a, in an upcoming video. And it comes with another earring. This one goes in one ear. This one goes in the other. doesn't have another ear cuff. I'm glad it doesn't because it would be too much to wear two ear cuffs for me at least. I got this set of earrings. It came with three different pair. Large, medium, and small. These are the large ones. These are the small ones. I mean the medium, I'm sorry. These are the small. I also got these cute little cross earrings. And also got one last set of three set. It's like a little pack that has three pairs of earrings on it, small, medium, and large. These are them. This is the large ones, or these are the large ones. The medium and the small. So that's it for the jewelry. I'm going to move right on to the makeup. I'm going to start with the lashes since they're the easiest. And I'm going to be putting stuff up as I show you. I first got three pair of the 213 lashes. I'm actually wearing them right now. They look like that. I got two pair of number one lashes. These are some of my all-time favorites. Love those. I got two pair of the 113s. These are a little more dramatic. 
I got two pair of the 747 mediums. I haven't worn these in a while. By the way, these are the same as the Red Cherry Lashes, the same as Miss Adoro, all of those. And I got one pair of number 99s. I got five makeup brushes that I need to wash. They're all by e.l.f. These are great. I love e.l.f. makeup brushes. Very affordable if you can't afford high-end brushes. So definitely check these out if you don't own any brushes or makeup brushes and you're looking for some. I did get doubles of some of them. I got two smudge brushes because I only have like one of these, the MAC 214. If you own the MAC 14, I'm sorry, if you don't own it, this is a perfect dupe for it or like a similar brush, I guess, not a dupe. I got two eye crease brushes. I'm going to take it out of the pack make it easier for you to see. This is what that looks like. I'm really, really looking forward to using this for my crease. This is the smudge brush right here. I also got a powder brush. I will most likely use this to set the powder underneath my eyes, which I don't really apply. I most likely use this for blush or highlight because it's a little too small for powder in my opinion. And I also got the Professional Blending Eyeshadow Brush, or Professional Blending Eye Brush, I'm sorry. I actually already own this one. I got it from Dollar Tree. Whoa, what is that? Ugh. See, that's why you should wash your brushes. I don't know if y'all can see that cloud of smoke coming out of this brush. But if you buy new makeup brushes, you definitely need to wash them because you have no idea where they've been. I got some pre-glued airbrush nails. I haven't used these since high school, middle school, a long time ago. And they're by Clean Color. I got three pairs of sunglasses. I got some black ones. They look like this. I got some red ones. And I got... These are some really good sunglasses for a dollar. Like, I'm definitely going to wear these in outfits at a day post. I got four lipsticks. This one is by Clean Color. And it is raspberry. That's that one. Really pigmented and pretty. The next three I'm going to show you also by a Clean Color. This one is Radiant Red. That's it right there. And I got two colors that are kind of dramatic. Not dramatic, more avant-garde. This one is called Jewelry Box. That one is surprisingly really pigmented too. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet, but we'll see. The last one I got is called After Hours. Kind of disappointed in this one. I thought it was going to be a navy blue, just like the one from Melt Cosmetics. But it's not. That was not that pigmented. You kind of have to really swipe it a lot to get some color. So it's more of like a sheer lipstick. That one right there. I got a cream eyeshadow. This one is in Beaming Lime. I thought it was going to be more matte when I ordered it. But it's not. It's more of a frost. Actually, I got one eye and eyebrow pencil. This is also by Clean Color. This one is in Violet. That one's super pigmented. And I got two lip liner pencils. This one is in Rose. This one is in Deep Red. And those are the two lip liner pencils. Rose and Deep Red. So I'm going to do something with some of these products very soon. I got five blushes. All of them are from Clean Color. This one is sun baked. I tried to get something similar to nothing I had in my collection. And all these blushes are really pigmented by the way. There's that one. And again, only a dollar. This one is called Redwood. There's that one. Some really neutral colors for bright looks that I always do. This one is mauve. There's that one. They're all matte, by the way. This one is Sunset. Right there. And this one is Guava. I think this one is my favorite. It's like this beautiful coral pink. Like a coral reddish pink color. All the way on the far end. Love it. 
The last two products, I'm going to show you the hair accessories. I got two butterfly clips. They came in one package. I got this all black one. I've always wanted to get one of these. So like when I roll my hair, I curl it. If it's not curled right, I could just like pull it back and put it in a butterfly clip. I always wanted to do that. So I'm glad and really excited about these. This one has rhinestones on it. I did spray with clear spray paint just so it wouldn't tarnish. So that's all I got from Shop Miss A. Also, definitely check out the information box. I'll have information about some giveaways. And actually, three people will qualify for the winners. So definitely check out the information in, in the information box to properly enter the giveaway. And if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will talk to all of you soon. Thanks for watching.